Rafa is on a journey this year throughout 2011 around the four Grand Slam moments and the four elements. So right now as we approach the summer season and we go into clay court season, we're focusing on the earth element, earth being the clay. That blue color fighting with the earth that he's playing on is really the story for the season. When we meet with Rafa, absolutely, he gives us a direction of what he prefers. Most importantly, around color. This is his most high-profile event by far, and the choices that we make here, the design choices and the color choices, are more critical here than they are at any other time in the year. The fabric is a dry fit, engineered jacquard, and you'll see specifically that we've added a mesh gusset here at the underarm. This is really for extra added insurance and breathability. Really the detail is on the back of the garment. We thought that it would be an interesting place to kind of work a story rather than on the front, which is always quite expected. The pattern in particular um, is influenced from old Moorish patterns and we've kind of taken some elements of that but treated it in a very modern, more technical way. And then also embedded in the middle of the print is Rafa's bull logo. Rafa has been preferring more of a longer length short, so we look to board shorts. This fabric of the short is hand-picked, and the reason we always go with this particular fabric is that it's our fastest drying, lightweight, woven dry fit. The internal gusset here on the short you'll see is flat locked for the same reasons that it is on the crew for less possibility of chafing. You'll also notice on the side seams and on the back yoke that we've completely bonded these seams together. What ends up happening when you bond a, a seam is that it, it's actually a stronger hold than a traditional stitch. The front of the short has both a velcro and a button fly closure so you're really locked in there when you put this thing together. You've got a hook and bar zipper and then the Velcro, which provides a lot of uh, support when you're playing. And finally, the inside of the waistband is finished with a dry fit mesh, so you get a little bit more of a lightweight story and more breathability in the short. Much like uh, past players who appreciated the, the ballistic series, um, this shoe is another great update and is going to give them even more durability than they've had in the past. This is really for a power player that is uh, extremely hard on their shoes. This is going to give them the best wear uh, you can get for your money. Rafa started wearing this shoe in Melbourne in January and he really appreciates all the support, the Max Air cushioning in the heel. Every aspect of this shoe is just a, a wonderful continuation of, of what he's liked in past ballistic shoes. When you look at Rafa's game, we felt that uh, continuing to use Max Air in the heel is the best cushioning system for him. It deflects a lot of the uh, peak pressure on, uh, on his explosive moves. That in combination with the Lunar Lawn uh, cushioning in the forefoot is the perfect blend of uh, cushioning for, for Rafa's game. So what you're gonna see in the clay season is there's a lot more dragging of the foot, especially at just extreme angles. So that's where you're really gonna see uh, and appreciate the thicker uh, drag on areas up here in the eye stay and down here in the uh, medial forefoot. You'll see that it is a more durable compound than is used in the rest of the drag on. You're gonna see a nice update with this blue colorway that's gonna play really nice off the, the red clay. You take a close look at Rafa's game, he is one of the most explosive players out there and uh, he's extremely hard on his shoes. So basically, we built the most durable shoe we could that fits the needs of his game, and that's what you get with the Ballistic 3.3.